I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I've got more bad news. Yeah, uh, you got that more bad news uh, on these, these pinched nose Negroes. This boy Puff Daddy, what does it say here? Puff Daddy. Where is it? Yeah, Puff Daddy, Sean, they call him Sean Combs, has been hit with a wave of 120 new sexual. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This boy, there's been 120 sexual assault charges brought against him. Lawyers have brought these suits against him. I know people, men who ain't never had 120 sexual encounters. <laughs> they haven't had sex that many times. Puff Daddy, this boy, listen. Uh, uh, and I'll, I'll, in another video, I'll tell you something more. Uh, this, this is one degrading, uh, I, I mean, one degenerate, I should say. Mr. Engine, do you have the clip, clip number one? Bring that up, would you please? Sean Diddy Combs facing a wave of new lawsuits tonight. An attorney in Houston says he's representing more than 100 people who claim to have been sexually assaulted by the rapper stretching over two decades. Here's News 4's Erica Byfield. Sean Diddy Combs is facing new allegations of abuse. Today, we learn the jailed rap star and mega producer will soon get saddled with 120 new civil lawsuits. The attorney that represents Diddy's accuser says that the alleged conduct involves people beyond Combs. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. Tony Busby says that his law firm received thousands of calls after the feds indicted Diddy in New York, adding that his staff is now busy vetting claims and building out those cases. We also have collected pictures, videos, texts. We check venues. We check dates. We want to corroborate that the claims being made have legitimacy and merit. Most of the lawsuits that Busby expects to file in the next 30 days will appear on dockets in New York and California. The attorney says that many of the New York allegations took place in Manhattan or the Hamptons. These cases span 25 years, dating back to 1999. Many of the accusers filed police reports or say they went to the hospital for help and staffers discovered that they had drugs in their system. Busby says the people who claim Diddy sexually assaulted them include men and women. In this group, it is evenly divided between males and females. There are 60 males and 60 females who have joined us to pursue these claims. The feds allege that Diddy would host freak-offs and give its victims drugs and then force them to perform sexually, sometimes with male escorts. Busby claims that his clients mostly faced abuse during after parties and auditions. He says that the youngest victim was just nine years old and was allegedly abused after Diddy promised to make him a star, adding that that child wasn't the only one. 25 of the 120 individuals who are plaintiffs in these cases were minors at the time. Today, Combs' attorney said that he can address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. Diddy has pleaded not guilty to the federal charges. Erica Byfield, News 4, New York. All right, now this, this Texas attorney says that Busby says <laughs> that there's 120 new claims that 60 males that say that that Puff Daddy uh, assaulted men and 60 women that he assaulted. So, and, and he says he's got pictures and videos, and a bunch of other tracking information. And I don't think this lawyer would stand up and say that if it wasn't true. And I, I, everybody knows it's true that he does have it and that they will be made public and that a whole lot of powerful people are going to be exposed. That's what this Busby says. So it must be, somebody need to get him a, you know, some uh, some bodyguard protection, secret service, some kind of protection because they're going to be a whole lot of folk. You know, my thing is this, is that, you know, I have been for years, I've been telling black people, you know, since the era of Dr. Martin Luther King, black people have just gone off the charts with their failure to understand and the worship of entertainers as somehow or another as entertainers or athletes being the ones to lead them to the promised land. It is ridiculous. And I, I, I guess because Dr. King didn't represent a stomp down belief in Almighty God, but the and, and these these entertainers get worship, and Puff Daddy is 
he, he's pretty high up there, but there, there's some people that you're going to see exposed. And I'm praying. You said, Pastor Matt, are you praying for people to, to, uh, uh, to be exposed and have their lives completely turned upside down? They've already turned everybody else's lives upside down all their life. They've been messing with other people. So, yeah, I'm praying for justice. Number one on the list, I'm puffed at his list, is Obama. That's right. Number one on Puff, it took place here in New York and in the Hamptons. And don't you think that when the next news conference is held, if there's one held in New York, I'll be there. Number one, that Obama be exposed. Number one. And whether or not he can buy his way out, like Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Gates, with Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Gates, you know, or Prince Edwards, who had to step down from his position uh, in London as a prince because he had been exposed to having sex with underage girls with Jeffrey Epstein. Obama! Obama! Obama's a Mac daddy. Obama pimped black women and white women. Obama! Number one. Number two, Martha Stewart. That's right. All their pictures and video of Martha Stewart having sex with sex workers, black men in particular, and being passed off, this boy Puff Daddy would pass Martha, first he'd have sex with her, then he'd pass off to a bunch of other black men from Africa to have sex with Sex workers, it's in the document that Puff Daddy brought people in from other nations, sex workers, to have sex with people like Martha Stewart. He'd pass off to another, you know, a bunch of African black men, you know, uh, and, and and so is she, is, will she be? Well, this lawyer Busby says he got video. What about Mayor Adams? Eric Adams, who you know, uh, obviously uh, is just as much a freak as Puff Daddy. Uh, he and Puff Daddy were tighter than two peas in a pod. And look how they, you know, they look, they make making the love sign. Look at that. They're making the they're lovers. We're making the love. That's the sign of a heart. In case you don't know, it's the sign of a heart. They're making love signs as, as Eric gives him the key to the city of New York. Uh, are there pictures of Eric Adams? This is going to, this is going to be something. This is, you know, it's like how it's like heaven is open up. And has just blessed Pastor Manning. The truth is getting ready to be seen. Revolution will not be tele televised. Yes, it is. This revolution is going to be televised. And it, it, it's almost like finally Pastor Manning, finally God has opened the door and Puff Daddy being exposed, Obama being exposed, uh, Eric Adams being indicted, Puff Daddy being in a whole lot of people going to jail, and we're going to know the sexual organs of a whole lot of people. Finally, the Lord has heard Pastor Matthew's prayer. This is going to be a great time. And he, the Lord knows have mercy. I'm going to be right there. But not just that. T.D. Jakes, what about him? Oh, T.D., <laughs> Mr. Mr. Woman, thou art loose. <laughs> but what T.D. really likes, he really likes men. He had a church full of women, women, but he likes men. <laughs> Woo -wee. So this is going to be a very interesting time. He said, Pastor Matt, are you gloating? You're acting like, well, I'm rejoicing. No, I'm not gloating. I'm rejoicing. Watch your mouth when you talk to me, all right? Wash your mouth out with some Life Boy soap. Now, uh, I, you know, I'm rejoicing that finally all the labor that I have put into this work and put into black people, my love and my prayers for them uh, has been uh, prevented from seeing the light of day because of the power, the political power of Obama, the political power of Al Sharpton. And by the way, Al Sharpton is another one that all we're going to see Al Sharpton on video uh, having sex with men and having sex with Puff, all we going to see Al Sharpton and Puff Daddy kissing one another. No, I'm rejoicing. I'm not gloating. I am rejoicing. You don't know the years that I have been trampled on, kicked to the curb, called a false prophet. And all I've tried to do is reach out to the, my brother and say to him, listen, these people y'all are lifting up are nothing more than frauds and phonies and LGBT gay freaks, and you need to wake up. If I do run for mayor, 
This exposure is going to be a part of the process. If, if I do run, put that other picture up there, Mr. Engineer, as well. If I run, there are a whole lot of people that have been to Puff Daddy's free calls, and they thought they were safe. They thought, well, you take off our clothes and show our sexual genitalia, and nobody's watching, and it'll never be seen. Now everybody's going to know about everybody. This is going to be something. <laughs> the people are going to be running and asking, Pastor Manning, we need you. Lord have mercy. God, uh, you're going to see a whole lot of people repenting. Yeah, and that boy, what's his name? Uh that, boy, that basketball player, that James boy, what's his name? And then you got, you got the other one, uh, the, uh, the, the, the what's the, the big boy that put down in Miami uh, that played basketball as well. Uh, what is his name? Anyway, a whole lot of them, a whole lot of them are going to be exposed. And Puff Dad have been doing this for years. And it, you know, the thing, it's, I, I mean, okay, so I, I've been seeing it rejoicingly, but let me come up a little closer to you. Has Pastor Manning's day really come? I mean, LeBron James and Shaq been to these parties. LeBron James, has Pastor Manning's day really come? And this is a question that I'll be addressing on this coming Saturday at the Outlaw World Missionary Church. Not at all this is happening that Puff Daddy and, and, this, and the people have brought videos themselves to this lawyer, and they want money, and Puff Daddy got it. Puff Daddy's a billionaire, so a lot of people can get a whole lot of them, 120 people, they got a million dollars each. He's still, Puff Daddy would still be a billionaire, multi-billionaire. So uh, it's Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. You know, is this what, you know, and then you Usher and Justin Bieber. That the whole lot of people, you know, the, the question is, is that I want to say to the people that's been listening to me from a distance, uh, is Outlaw Day finally coming? Is Pastor Manning, who has been trying to tell us about this for years, is this day finally coming? Is Pastor Manning's day finally coming? We'll see. Be logged on or be in the place on this coming Saturday at 11 o'clock for the Sabbath worship behind the marble pulpit. Is Pastor Manny's day finally coming and coming with the nuclear hydrogen bomb explosion?